Alright, welcome back to Wallandy East. And I've done everything I think I can do this turn. I could move some of these guys, but it's much better just to let the... Um... Okay, depot management, I'm going to... Allow the AI to see it, deal with. I'm not going to mess around with that. If it... If it's a DOLP, you know, I want to reduce the clicking I'm doing, so yes, I will be letting the AI do a bunch of stuff. I do have a freight to the front lines, apparently. That's a nice little thing. Alright, Stalin goes into panic mode. She's having a nice little thing. So, yep, I did a fairly good punch through. Didn't get any pockets in the south, but I'm a good place for the turn two pocket. And yeah, I took love, 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 love. I really should learn how to pronounce some of these places. I'm not a native speaker, so I'm going to butcher whatever happens. Minsk is definitely in the list of stuff. Ooh, look at those losses going on. Five hundred thirty, and most of them are just losing planes. Yeah, when you lose, like, there's like twenty percent losses there. I have twenty-five percent losses. Ouch. I think I have a left historical weather on, by the way. First game, you, you do stuff like this. Maybe lots of little changes are going to slip me up anyway. I feel like running it live though. Okay, so the computer's very slow. I might nip back to this one, it's actually had a think. Alright, so they're delivering huge amounts of freight. I'm assuming a lot of that will happen. Alright, so trying to keep this little pocket from collapsing. Hmm. That's Soviet turn then. Just run up a load of freight. Yeah, looks like that was it. So, yep. Yeah. I'm on my air side, and then we'll see what we can do about lots of these pockets. So. Looking good. Friendly losses, 10,000. Hope he changes. Yeah. Soviet total is still over a million. No supply, one. Unready, four. Sign. Gnastic Baxter's initiative. Yep. 
So, see you've got the bonus column here. Initiative switch dates. Ah, uh, so the initiative can switch so those Soviets could get double turn. Hmm, uh, that's interesting to know. Anyway, let's get the air uh, for guys running. Still scouting. Go on, blow up some bases. I know you've you've made the retreat a long way. Okay, that was a much less efficient. So the next thing I need to do is on map info. Port level, zoom map in, zoom map out, real damage, logistics, factories, captured, our oh, city capture dates. Oh, that's interesting. That's a nice little thing. Combat delays on and off, real damage. Enemy hexes. Where's this, the isolated button? Institution levels. Okay. There we go. Ah. That, now, we're, now we're lucky. Now we're lucky good. So we have a good amount of guys ready to do, do some damage. Let's just collect some surrenders. See them fixed. Unit selection being weird. Alright. their bases. So the important thing now is to see about taking out Vega. Well they helped. Because they have a much stronger position than it looks. So not taking Vega was a mistake I made. You know that play a PvP game. There we go, Vega is mine. The next thing I want to do is cut these guys off from their port. So those guys are now trapped. They're mostly useless troops, but you know. Alright, so Riga. Is there some troops in there? I can see the push north. You're going to push off to the side slightly. So I've sacrificed a bit of advanced speed here to secure taking out one of their ports. And getting me a port as well, which is going to be important. Just move these infantry up as fast as I can. They're going to be supporting the main drive. You can wait for another turn before you start eliminating them now. Ok, 
Okay. We have a small pocket down here to eliminate. Like the supplies they sent in have done some good. Not masses, but some. The quicker we destroy this pocket, the better. Security forces aren't really up to much, but yeah. I'm just scouted down, okay. One guy surrendered, the other guy did not. No one surrenders. Let's have a run a couple of them. Air bases. Alright, so we're going to push on Minsk next. Shatter away through their defences. Find the city undefended, apparently. Wow. That I was not expecting. It will be unsecure, but honest. When did Minx historically fall when? June 28th. Oh, so like, pretty much on target. Alright, Slonsk is the next target. Get advancing in that direction then. I sort of clear out this area if possible. rapidly, taking lots of very useful ground. Clearing off the rail lines.
Right, so you need to start working on this rail line here. And you don't have the ability, alright. Nicely secured. And she's still going to mess with me slightly. Oops, I did not want to move that HQ. That HQ should have stayed there. Killed the entire area around the city. Stunning victories. Maybe each position to take that, so then you can move up to there. Catch up with him. Now right, security units start moving out. Shouldn't be getting any partisans just yet, but it's always good to have them in the base. Just feel a little bit of a waste of a mechanised unit, but yeah. In this pocket, as I said earlier, is a major concern of mine. Then you've got a dead pocket. Now, yeah, open pocket, sorry, not a dead pocket, is one that I can use to properly advance. Now, let's continue the advance north through the marshes. Sure, the infantry are staying off with keeping these flanks open. Let's get this rail line going. The more supplies we can get to our frontline troops, the better. Unit surrenders. Yeah. All right. I think I underused quite a lot of units. Last time. This is not in itself a bad thing, however. It just means that they have uh, lots of fuel reserves ready for the next push.
Right down here. Let's start looking at another encirclement. You guys activated, you have. Excellent. We're probably going to use them last turn as well. Yeah, mountains. So who can force their way north from here? There's a panic ensuing. security company out of the way and let's get going towards Odessa.